Oh, good day, good day, good day, good day, guys. Clint the Maluba again here. I want us to talk a little bit about the different journeys that are there in the financial markets for everybody. I want you to understand something. When we are trading, we can be trading at the same time, and you'll see someone online on Instagram posting that they've made 50K, they've made 100K, they've made a million, a million, whatever. You've, you've, you, you've lost. Someone out there as well lost. So in the, at the same time, some made money, some lost money. What makes someone to lose when someone makes money? This is a trade, guys. This is a trade. When we say Forex trading, you are trading your losses for somebody else's profits. So it means when someone loses, someone profits, right? These charts that you see there on your screen, these charts have got nothing to do with the money involved. This is just market manipulation, price manipulation based on events and um, the market makers' uh, willingness. But the money involved, the money that is involved comes from the people that trade the market, everyone that trades. So even if there's no money, there's still going to be a movement. Why I'm saying that is because the market is not derived by us, traders, normal traders, talking about retail traders. The market is derived by the big guys, the big guns. These guys, even if there's no money coming from our side, they will still uh, make money because they will try by all means to manipulate the market and make money from hedge funds, from insurance companies, from everybody else. Guys, even the big, big, big guys that you know that holds the money of this world, Rupert, um, Oppenheimer in, in South Africa, and we can talk about Bill Gates, we can talk about um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, we can talk about all these big names, Warren Buffett, all these guys, they participate in the markets. Tell me, if right now it was going to be said that, um, you know, uh, uh, let me give you an example. Bill Gates lost billions. What would happen to the share price of 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 of, um, of 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 Microsoft? Is it Microsoft or what? Yeah. What would happen to Microsoft? That the share price would drop, and if the share price drops, what happens to the U.S. dollar? The U.S. dollar will be affected. So you see that these guys have got a lot of power when it comes to to the markets. So they can manipulate these markets in in all sorts of ways. They can even lie to us. To say, remember, every, not everything that you see in the media is true. Some of these things, they're just manipulations. They just want to play with our minds. They want us to understand why we are losing and why they are making profits. Well, that part we can never understand. But they never lose. They never lose. You must understand. If if these big guys were, you know, they, they, they participate in the markets, not like us, but for a long run. They, they, they participate in the markets through their companies. You understand? So for us, we have to put in there in our 500, 1,000. This is why it's so difficult to grow that money because we are fighting against the big guys who are very consecutive. They use proper, proper risk management, the proper, proper strategies to make money in the, in, the, in the financial market. We need to play this game for a long run. We need to have the mindset that they have. If you don't have the mindset they have, I doubt if you're going to make any money in the Playing the long run, it's always gonna be gonna come straight to the point of you trading like the big the big guys. Uh, so you trading like the big guys doesn't mean you need to have their strategy. You can have your own strategy, but you must think like they do. They think in the long run. They think they look at the future. They look five, ten years to come. This is why when they move the markets, they move it uh, thoroughly so for a long run on the upside or on the downside. Look at the market. Go look at the charts. The charts will talk to you. It will tell you exactly how these guys think. The way they think, guys, is very, very unique. It's very, very um, billionaire. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why they can never lose money because they have control and they think for the long run. Every trader that loses money is because you are thinking, no, you are not thinking in a bigger picture. You are thinking here. You, you, your thinking ends here. It ends where your poverty ends. You are thinking about buying bread. You, are you must think in the long run to say, I want to be in this thing for the long run. I want to trade the financial markets with big funds. Or I want to control. I want to be part of this uh, decision making. Say, uh, every trader has to have 
the long run mentality and that is the best strategy to have have the long run mentality that is the best strategy you can have this is why you find out someone with a lot of money because they don't they are not trying to, to buy bread you know they're not trying to buy a car they already have those things they end up making a lot of money in the financial markets without knowing anything about trading because they come with a long a, a, a long-term mentality you understand what i'm saying so you need to have even if you had, don't have the money have that mentality at least so guys that's my advice to you clinton will again here signing out peace